part of that we understand is that laughing gas, yes. which some people use to give them a high, is set to be banned. Yes. Now, is that true? And why are you doing that when the independent panel that looks at these things on behalf of the government says it's disproportionate to ban it? Well, uh, we're doing it because if you walk through any urban park, you will see these little silver canisters, which are the evidence of people regarding public spaces as arenas for drug taking. That is unacceptable. Um, people should uh, feel that those spaces are being looked after in a way which means that they are safe for children, that they are not the recourse for people who want to engage in this sort of antisocial behaviour. Uh, this drug is one that can have an intoxicating and potentially damaging effect on uh, young brains and young nervous systems. So we need to stop it. The advisory committee offers advice, mm -hmm. but ministers ultimately decide. And uh, Rishi Sunak and the Home Secretary have been clear, and I agree with them, mm -hmm. that we need to draw a line. You know, they, 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 there tends to be this approach that, oh, it's only minor or, you know, uh, let people let off steam. No, these are public spaces that should be safe and orderly. Once you begin mm -hmm. to retreat from these public spaces, once you say anything goes, mm -hmm. then, as we know, what uh, uh, appear to be small infringements mm -hmm. turn into a greater degree of lawlessness. There's a theory, the so-called broken windows theory, that mm -hmm. describes this behaviour. If you tolerate low-level disorder, then you lose the attractiveness and security that everyone has a right to expect in public spaces.